My name is Melinda Calway, and today we're going to work on a, a very quick little card that we can send to a really good friend. Uh, sometimes you just want to do a little bit of art, but you want to um, make it quick and get some instant gratification rather than labor over it for weeks and weeks. And this is what we are going to do today. So I'm going to mix up some colors first. I always like starting with my light colors, so I'm going to throw a bit of yellow in here. Then this is Oriolan yellow. It is my favorite yellow because it's transparent and it mixes well with others. It's um, non-staining as well. So I'm going to put that. Uh, let's go with orange in here. Okay, I'm just putting my paints out on my palette so that I can get them ready so that when I start painting, I can just paint it all through, hopefully, and get this little card done and get it ready to send to somebody special. Okay, so I've got those three colors for now. And uh, there's another red, which is probably the same red. Now, I'm going to try and keep my voice loud enough so that you can hear throughout. I've noticed on previous videos that sometimes my voice gets very quiet and you can't hear it well. So that is going to be my Thing that I'm going to try hard to do today. So mixing up some greens too. I'm going to start off with this light green. This is called leaf green and I know a lot of artists mix their own greens but I'm quite happy to let the companies do it for me. If there's a green that I like I will use it from the tube. I, I often mix my greens together with other greens or other blues. So that is olive green which I'm very low on. I have to get some more olive green. I quite like that. And this is Viridian. Viridian is one of those greens that by itself, it kind of looks a little bit uh, vibrant, but if you mix it with other colors, like this raw sienna, which I didn't spray yet, let me spray that. It makes it into a really nice, believable green, one that you would see in nature more. I'm going to mix it a little yellower on one side and leave the other side a little greener. And then I'm going to go right into some blue. This is ultramarine blue, which is nice. And I'm going to put a little bit of cobalt blue here. And I have a little bit of this manganese blue left. I'm going to use some of that. Manganese blue is very similar to cerulean blue. But it's a little bit more transparent, and that's why I like it a little bit more. And it's a little bit more expensive too. So, if you have cerulean blue, that's good. You're ready to go. Okay, so I've got my color started, and I'm just going to go with it. And I'm going to start off. Let's start off with some yellow, and I'm just going to I'm just going to make. A, I've drawn a little vase here <coughs> at a table to put it on, and now I'm going to play with the flowers. So I'm going to just. This is going to be a very quick type thing. So I put one here. I'll put a little. Bit here. And I'm not too worried about the shapes at the moment. I'm going to have some white flowers in there too. And to make white flowers, I have to put a background in. So some yellow. Let's put a little yellow over here as well. Let's take some orange and mix it with that. And then put orange and put it in there too. Just for fun. It's nice to see what the, thing, what the colors will do. And my favorite color, red. Put some red in here. I didn't put any pink in. Let's put some pink. This is opera pink, and it's nice when you put it with some other colors. Okay, let's, let's leave a let's shape in there for a big flower. And uh, let's have some more red coming over here. And right now, because I'm making this a very quick card, I'm not thinking about what kind of flowers are going to be at the moment. Uh, if I want to put more time into it after, I can shape them into different kinds of flowers. Put a little orange in here. And you know what? Let's put some violet in. Might as well put them all in. Okay, now we need some green. Green is what is going to hold it all together. So let's start off with some green. 
And now I gotta take this and I'm gonna put a, a stem down there. Let's put two stems. Some stems in. And if you find the colors bleed together, don't worry about it. It makes it even more interesting. It should look like a real watercolor. Now to make a leaf, you can just very, very lightly then push on the brush and then lift it off if you want like a, a slim leaf like that. Or you can have a leaf that comes down and bends that way. Let's put another leaf in here. Let's get into this leaf. And some other colors. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a darker one now and just throw it in. And again, I, this is going to be kind of like a white flower in there. So. If I put like a darker green around some of the lighter colors, it'll make them pop more. And that is the contrast of value, which is very, very important. Now, unfortunately, I paused the video for a second and then when I turned it back on, it did not take. So you're missing part of this video, but I'm going to try and talk you through the last little bit. Um, I put some colors on and then to get the background, I wet it first and then I dropped the colors in and I used similar colors to what I had on the uh, flowers, but I kept it really watered down so it's very light in value um, and that makes it stand out a little bit. Um, around the vase here, I want it to be just a little bit darker, so I'm going to wet that and I'm just going to put a little bit of green or blue or whatever color you want for the background in and around the vase to make it stand out a little bit and then bleed it into the background. So you don't have this hard line around there. Just kind of swish it around a little bit. And of course the same on the other side. So what I want is I want this glass to shine through a little bit and be lighter. Okay, again, bleed it into the background doesn't stand out. You don't want it to look like you've outlined it. It looks kind of like a called ribboning. You don't want to do that. And I want this to go right to the edge because the card is going to be right around the edge. I've got uh, a rim around the glass here that I've kept white. It helps it look like there's glass when you do something like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and then just put it on the inside of the glass. So leave some white streaks. And if you want, you can take a stiff brush. This is a this is a number one, it can be number zero, and it's an acrylic brush with a very fine uh, tip on it. And I can take this and I can just take off a little bit of the uh, the color, <clears throat> and that makes it look like look more like this glass here. I'm going to put it into the card. Before I put it into the card, I'm going to let it dry because I can't put it into the card when it's kind of floppy. Uh, I, I, I'm okay with it. I squinted my eyes. It's got color in it. It's got some light stuff in it. It's got some dark. I put some dark green in here to uh, give it some contrast of value. And it's got some light green as in some leaves. Uh, if I wanted to, I could probably put some more leaves in, you know, just some small leaves here and there to allow that to um, just add a little bit more interest. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video again. Hopefully this time I'll remember to restart it in time and I'll let that dry and then I'll show you how to put it into a card. Okay, I've dried this picture now and it also it was a little warped so I took it up to the ironing board and I flipped it over and I ironed it with a little bit of steam to flatten it nicely. And now it's ready to go into my uh, card. And I'm going to get that card out there. Um, just before I do though, I always like to look at it after. And I think I'd like to add a few stems from these flowers here that are further out. Just pretend that's a flower. Yeah, it's not a lot, but you know, sometimes these little things are fun and they they add a little bit of interest. Okay, and I'm going to sign it. When I sign my cards, I usually just uh, print my first name. 
So I'm going to take a small pen. This is a Micron pen. This is 005. And sometimes I put a piece of tape here, but I'm not going to today because I'm like, I will because I have a piece of tape here. Just to keep it straight. Put it across where I want it. And then I just print my name. Some people write it. It's whatever you're used to doing. With the cars, like I said, I just use my first name. Done. So now I'm going to just put it on top of the card. And I'm going to set it up so that it's in the middle. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not measuring it or anything. And then I take a pencil and I just go and, and put a couple little spots on each corner. Quickly. Yeah, I move that a little bit. And then what I do is I take my cutting board and I just make a little cut where I put those two dots. So maybe a touch past it, but not a lot. Because you don't want to go off the page. Just go cut there. And again, this is just, it's something that's a nice gift for a, a, a special friend. And if you can't send them a bouquet of flowers, because there's a pandemic on, and it's hard to get to the grocery store or to the flower store, and then if you can make them a bouquet of flowers. And this is personal, something they don't have to water, and something that they can keep forever. <clears throat> and they can take it off and they can frame it if they want. So here I've made my little slot, slits from the cart, and I just do this. You can get the little corner you stick on there too, but I don't find they work as well. They just seem to sometimes get pulled off. So you've got your cart. Stand up. And notice I didn't put my vase smack in the middle. I put it over to the side so I had some room for my cast shadow to come. It's always more interesting if it's over to the side and not smack in the middle. Okay, so that's your card and you're done. Uh, if you want to watch any more of my videos, please check out my YouTube channel, Melinda Calway, and I've got other videos, some hypolapse and uh, some other things. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. I hope you enjoy your card making.